Hi, this is Brian Baron with PlatformEconomyInsights.com. And this briefing is a quick review of where things stand on the antitrust reviews underway, or at least talked about, regarding the biggest internet digital platform companies, companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple. As we know, those companies are being looked at by antitrust officials globally. So you have a big investigation going on in Australia. You may have seen some of the information that was sent out by PlatformEconomyInsights.com about the ACCC in Australia and their investigation of Google and Facebook in particular. There are investigations underway in Europe, both by the European Commission Competition Authority, but also national competition authorities. Those are investigations looking at various aspects of Amazon's conduct. Google has been the target of some investigations that have stretched years, Apple and Facebook. But there's also activity in the United States, and that's the focus here, or at least the news that led to this briefing, is recent reports that a group of state attorneys generals are going to be pooling their resources and their efforts to target the same big companies. Now, those combined efforts, and there are reports that this group of attorneys general will be from 12 to 20 strong, is not just going to be working together, but is also going to be cooperating in some sense with federal investigations along the same lines. Now that's an opportunity to remind everybody, so where is the federal investigation sort of situation? Where does that stand? So there are two federal antitrust agencies. You have the Department of Justice Office of Antitrust Enforcement, and you also have the Federal Trade Commission's sort of competition half of their shop. So you had reports earlier this year that the Department of Justice had agreed that they would be the lead agency at the federal level looking at Google and Apple, while you had the FTC agreeing that they would be the lead agency looking at Facebook and Amazon. At the same time, both agencies have engaged in various kinds of reviews that propose to look at the broad topic of whether we need changes in antitrust sort of enforcement or law here in the United States and also the digital economy more broadly. So you have both agencies essentially saying that, that they're looking at everything. But when it comes to the specific investigations, again, you have DOJ looking at uh, Google and Apple, and you have the FTC looking at Amazon and Facebook. Now, the attorneys generals have likewise been talking about this topic all year long. So there were stories that reached the sort of headline level back in March following the National Association of Attorneys General meeting in Washington, D.C. Coming out of that, there was talk about increased multi-state cooperation. You had the same thing when uh, U.S. Attorney General William Barr met with a group of attorneys general back in July to talk about concerns with the tech companies in particular. Again, there was discussion then about the prospect for multi-state cooperation in an antitrust context. So. The effort has been building all year, and there's nothing specific happening yet, but I thought it was worth noting that you have a lot of attorneys generals involved. You've got some attorneys generals from states like Mississippi and New Mexico, Louisiana, smaller states who've been actually involved in the topic, looking at different companies, in particular Google and Facebook, for more than a year now. But now you also have the larger attorneys general offices like New York and Texas, which ha honestly can bring a lot more resources to the table, they're looking to get involved as well. So we're undoubtedly going to see more activity as those attorneys general's offices pool attorneys and resources and investigations. Um, it's expected that these attorneys generals 
will be coming to the uh, to the market with what are called CIDs, civil investigative uh, demands, looking for information from both the companies involved, but also potentially competitors and and their customers in the market, asking about conduct by the targeted companies and how they might be affecting the market overall. So we're going to see more cooperation between probably state officials and federal officials. And again, this is all happening in the context of meaningful international activity as well. So there's a lot going on. This is not an issue that's going to go away anytime soon. And so we'll do our best here at Platform Economy Insights, keeping an eye on it. And in particular, as I said at the beginning, looking at how these issues will play out as, they, as the policies, as the potential remedies, in particular if those remedies are more regulatory and legislative, how they're going to actually impact smaller enterprises. Because of course, the small enterprises are not the ones who generated the concerns that the handful of mega platforms have generated, but yet if the regulatory or legislative changes are going to impact everyone, in many cases the smaller businesses and the mid-sized platforms are actually going to have a more challenging time complying than maybe the largest. So with that, this is Brian Biron at PlatformEconomyInsights.com. You can send in any kind of question that you might have. Uh, down below there's an Ask a Question link or go to the website, platformeconomyinsights.com. There's an opportunity to send in email questions all throughout that uh, website as well. I look forward to it. Until the next briefing, this is Brian Biron. Bye-bye.